War is supposed to be a last resort, but does Britain's relationship with the war industry have an impact on our ability to encourage peace? Upon leaving office in 1961, former US President Eisenhower warned of a military industrial complex. He was concerned that having powerful actors with interests which lend themselves to benefit not from peace, but from war, could have a negative impact on politics, especially if the public isn't aware of it. Fast forward to 2016, and the war industry is big business globally, and the UK is one of the leading players. But how many of us are aware of the impact of this on our ability to promote peace? The Ministry of Defence is the government department responsible for protecting the security, independence and interest of our country at home and abroad. Despite cuts in public spending in recent years due to government austerity and the official end of the Afghanistan and Second Iraq War, Britain's spending of £35.1 billion on defence remains the fifth highest in the world. That means that around £5 of every £100 of government money is spent on defence. But the UK isn't alone. It's part of an alliance called NATO, where countries vow to defend each other. The 28 NATO members spent more on defence last year than the world's other 168 countries combined. The British economy also profits from the arms industry by making weaponry and equipment and selling it to other countries. Britain is one of the leading countries in the world for this. Last year, we exported £9.4 billion worth of arms. And who are we selling them to? Every year, the British Foreign Office compiles a list of countries with dubious human rights records. Last year, Britain exported arms to 21 of the countries on that list. Most notably, this includes Saudi Arabia, which is accused of killing thousands of people in a war in Yemen and is alleged to have committed war crimes, according to Human Rights Watch. The arms industry is a significant part of the UK economy. It directly employs an estimated 142,000 people in this industry and contributes an estimated £9 billion to the economy. Some human rights organisations have called on the government to stop selling arms to countries with such poor human rights records. But how many politicians are going to clamp down on the arms industry when there are so many jobs and so much money at stake? And there have been several reports on the sometimes cosy relationship between private arms companies and a number of government officials. Britain has been involved in multiple conflicts in the last 20 years. So as long as Britain continues to export such large quantities of arms and spend such a significant amount of money on defence, are we really able to promote global peace? Have we, as President Eisenhower warned of in the US, developed our own military industrial complex in Britain, where vested interests in government, military and arms companies have an undue impact on our politics? We want to start a debate on this important question, so please tell us what you think in the comments below and pass this video around so others can have their say. So when I'm ready, just press play.